Hey, you! You need to let me out of here. Look, I need to get out of here. Okay, these blood eagles are gonna kill me, but only after they mess me up. You get me? No, it's not gonna be pleasant. Removing things that are supposed to be attached. Pain! Am I getting through? Oh, for the love of... Okay, quick version. Okay. I used to be part of this gang. I left, they nabbed me, and now they want to make a lesson out of me. How's that? Now you're talking. Okay, the key should be around here somewhere. All right, probably in the room where the guy running this place sleeps. Be careful. Please. Thanks. We're not in the clear yet, are we? All right, listen. I need to ask you for one other thing before we get out of this place. The gang took a bunch of my stuff. Okay, things that I need in order to track down their leaders. Can you help me get them back? Good. All right, I'll run interference while you get the heck out of here. Distract those morons. You know the drill. Where should we meet up after all this? Do you have some sort of place where you're squatting? Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, but, 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 but I need you to build something uh, that I can recognize from a distance. If I see it at your place, I'll know I'm welcome. In my bag, I've got a sketch of something that should do the trick. You'll know it when you see it. I overheard they took my stuff to the sludge works. Now, it's not too far from here, I think. Okay. Wish me luck. looks great <laughs> I mean even better than I'd imagine and thanks for giving me a place to crash huh <laughs> why uh why'd you break me out of Rollins anyway I mean you don't know me I I could be a bloodthirsty maniac an axe wielding ex-con a door-to-door -door salesman ah poetic charming you know, one of the first people I ever robbed was a wandering poet. Yeah, she came to our camp when I was a kid. She recited some poems from the old days, some commercial jingles, she called them. I thought they were nice. And when she fell asleep, I went through her satchel and stole all her mentats from my brother. And, uh, that was that. Ah, uh, look, uh, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Now, these blood eagles are bad news, and they need to go down hard. Now, you already stuck it to them once at the labor camp, so I know you've got what it takes. You feel like helping me wipe out the rest of these chumps? Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's what I'm talking about. We want to take the blood eagles down. Killing the sheep isn't going to do the trick. We need to go after the shepherds. But before we head down that road, we'll need help. Which means I need to right a few wrongs. Well, since I'm not exactly responder material, that doesn't leave me many options now, does it? Let's just say I tend to keep mixed company. Don't worry, though. I'm pretty sure my friends will help us out. Well, I, uh, I think so. Ah, 
Good. I know exactly where we should start. Best bet would be my old pal Edwin. Who, uh, piss him off, I stole his stupid diary. So, uh, if we want his help, we need to get it back for him. Can you handle that? Always. What do you need? Sure thing, boss. Well, he's the leader of a different gang of raiders. Really tough guy. Sharpened his teeth to points. You know, classy. See, his diary has a lot of, uh, precious, sad little secrets. Uh, stuff you wouldn't want your gang to hear, if you catch my meaning. Well, to impress the Eagles, I sort of stole the diary and stashed it away, so... He's not exactly thrilled with me right now. Thanks. I'll put the word out for a mutual contact while you're out. See if I can arrange for a meeting. And also, before you head out, thanks for letting me stay here with no strings attached. <laughs> Yet. Anyway. Huh? <laughs> I'll pull my weight around here. I will. So, did you find it? Well, uh, a bit, sure. I don't know you. Heck, I don't even know if this is actually your place. I just, I just assume it is, uh, because who would lie about this? Anyway, I've got a plan, and it already involves you. But that's exciting to hear, right? So, get ready for it. I've got a buddy named Sage, who joined a stupid cult and got himself swept up into their nonsense. I, uh, need you to find him. Get him out of there. And in the meantime, I'll try and get this, uh, diary back to Edwin. Maybe that'll convince him to back us up, hmm? Sound good? Sage. He's, a. Uh... A violent murderer, a sloppy thief, and used chems until his brain rotted down to almost nothing. Now he sees the world differently than we do. The last time I saw him, I was trying to get out of the Blood Eagles, and he was joining a new cult. Well, for a while, he was into a Tato cult. They just spoke to and then ate Tato's. I try not to judge, you know, so... Moving on... Uh, then he was in a cult that believed we were all living in some kind of... Terminal program, or robotic AI unit... Uh, I don't remember anymore... Uh, then he did some, uh... Mothman thing... Uh, might still be his jam... Or maybe he's into some other cryptid now... <laughs> it, uh... It doesn't matter, honestly... Seriously? Weird. I didn't even pay you anything. You're kind of creeping me out, honestly. Before you go, care for a drink or anything? <laughs> I might still be. I gotta check my membership cards. But seriously, yeah. It was fun. Rough, but fun. Picked up the wrong sort of attention and Got pulled in the wrong direction. Bam! Instant Blood Eagle. Worst Blamco product ever. All I have left is a brother. Name's Frankie. But that's, uh, that's something we could talk about some other time. Ah, for you, it's always open. What do you need? I tell you what, I'll buy this round. Now the rest will be out of your pocket. This stuff doesn't come cheap, you know. I don't know if I'm in your way. I wanted to take a breather before heading out, hmm? I hear that. Well, I don't know for sure. Uh, there's a cave that he talked about last time I saw him, so... Thought you could try there. 
When I go talk to Edwin's gang, I'm gonna see if they know anything else. No, I doubt they will, but I may as well ask while I'm there. Well, if you see me again, then everything went swimmingly. to fight. Hey, oh, I hear the ash heap is just lovely. <laughs> He ran off, right? Yeah, he does that. But don't worry, he'll find us when he wants to. But in the meantime, words come back from Edwin. Turns out recovering his sad little diary isn't gonna be enough, so I thought of another idea. Find the stolen key to his weapons cache. Now that, and killing the traitor that took it, might be enough to flip him in our direction. Do-gooders or something else. You know that, right? I'll be stuck here waiting for Edwin to make peace, so... Thanks for stepping up. Again. Now, the weapons cache isn't really the point. This traitor is clearly trying to goad Edwin's gang and a rival gang into a confrontation. Big mistake. He wasn't interested in meeting with me just yet. Uh, he can't trust me. So, he sent someone from his gang, Ronnie. She accepted the journal on his behalf and said he'd meet me here at your place soon. When he feels like it. She said I should wait for him. Sounds good. And if you happen to find the traitor who stole the key, offing them might uh, be a good idea. I'm here for a bit. Ah, you got the key! Nice! Look at you, you're an animal! You know that? I, I, uh, you know, I mean that in a positive way, of course. Anyway, while you were gone, I reached out to Ronnie from Edwin's gang. And they want their key back, but they also want the traitor who stole it dead. The good news is, well, we finally have a name for this genius. Bronx. <laughs> Cute, huh? Got it. I bet there's a stash around there, too. So keep your eye out. You want a drink before you head out? Or what? Not yet. He's, uh, a free spirit. 
I love them dearly, but uh, dependability, mindfulness, this plane of existence, yeah, not his thing. Edwin's had numerous setbacks with his gang lately. I see it's one of the bigger, low-key raider gangs around, but he's shedding respect. Making an example out of Bronx should help him put his house back in order. Ooh, I kind of like this. I got the bigger plan, I find the pieces, you execute them. I feel like some sort of mastermind. Thanks, sir. For... Oh, there you are, Sage. How you feeling, pal? No time to chit-chat, Beckett. Oh, I see you found a friend. Here for the party? Nah, there's no party, buddy. My friend was the one who freed you. Do you remember? Remember? Yeah, sure. I saw it first, felt it last. Good times. <gasps> oh, we're gonna need more cake. He's, uh, harmless. Honestly, he doesn't always rhyme. This is new. Maybe it'll wear off. Sage, buddy, pal, friend, can you hear me? Hey, I need your help. Now we're taking down the Blood Eagles. All of them. Now to do that, we need to cut off the head. You get me? No, 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 no. Not the head. Cut out the heart. The supply. At the cave, the cave. Ooh, spooky. Cave, cave, cave. <laughs> hmm. Okay. The cave. Got it. And Sage, you better come back later for the other questions. Okay? And try to drink some coffee or something. God, you're killing me here. <sighs> Johnny is gonna be thrilled to hear the betrayer is also dead now. I, uh, yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> Look, uh, Sage is harmless and he's more useful than you'd expect. Just give him time, he'll grow on you. Okay, look, if we want to take out the Blood Eagles, we need to cut off the supply before we cut off the head. Now, the cave is where the Blood Eagles store their supply of buff out. And without it, well, it'd be harder to convert new members. I bet you want a drink as well, right? Free one, on the house. Sorry, uh, no alcohol. I mean, yes, that's a fair sum. Without this buff out, the Blood Eagles won't be able to fill their ranks. <laughs> oh, we're really doing it! Damn right we are. But uh, before we break our arms patting ourselves on the back, we've still got tons of work to do. Anyway, it's time to move on to the big score. I want you to kill the first of the gang's three leaders. The Blood. You know, this is the one who finds the most vulnerable and brings them to the cave. Yeah, it is. I can't lie. This rips me up inside. I'm... Feels like um, my own blood is working against me. I feel like I'm forced to be uh, docile here. Oh, this is so embarrassing, upsetting. But thank you. I uh, need your help more than you realize. Well, they're sent to the cave for 
processing. Here. I got this holotape off one of the eagles a while back. Oh, it's sickening how little they value a human life, even for a raider. No, not at all. I mean, they were just raiders who were destroyed by heavy chem addiction. But then, uh, you know, it wasn't just that. You know, some of them became incredibly violent. before you head back out? No, not at all, but... Before, they were just a band of maniacs, and, and it was bad, yeah, but this... this is... <laughs> Need anything before you head back out? Before they were just a band of maniacs, and, and it was bad. Yeah, but this, this is, this is new. This is, this is terrible. I'm gonna dig a hole somewhere deep, then bury it. Hopefully, it'll sink into the soil, and that's it. It's a temporary measure, but necessary. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to use it, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, no, no. I've worked way too hard to escape that crap. Never again. Well, I gave Ronnie the key and told her the news about Bronx. Oh, she's thrilled, by the way. Hopefully we'll hear from me. Soon. did it. I just... I feel... lighter. <laughs> really? Ronnie came by while you were away. She said Edwin can't even consider helping us at all because he's in a state of, uh... despair. Look, uh, I know this sounds, uh... petty compared to what you've already done, but, well... his, uh... His dog is missing. Uh, first of all, that's evil. You know, like evil. Edwin is a good guy. And he's a little mushy in places, but he's fine. Secondly, that's Ronnie's uncle. She actually loves him. Do you think she'd be happy with that? Come on. Jeez. Uh, thirdly, Edwin has a ton of health issues. I'm surprised he's still around. We've been helping Ronnie this whole time. You know what I mean? Thanks, friend. Well, I know it's silly, but uh, hey, it means something to Edwin, so what can we do? Well, I'll, uh, I'll be honest. I've never been close, I mean, not in the way you're talking about, with anyone before her. It's kind of new to me. Wait, we are talking about what I think you're talking about, right? You know what? Maybe I'll just stop talking before I say something stupider. Huh? Deal? They have no idea who you are. I'm, I'm sure they're taking out revenge on literally every single vault dweller they see right now. Others too, maybe. I know it sounds like we made things worse, but we have to finish it. We have to cut off the other two heads. Then they're just idiots again. I think its name is Noodles. I, I'm 60% sure of that. Anyway, uh, good luck. So, when Ronnie said dog, what she meant was a freaking mole rat? Seriously. Well, I'm sure it'll uh, find its way home, Dad, when now that you've freed it. <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, I've heard the Blood Eagles have recruited a mechanic named Star. And they plan.
plan to have her help take over a radio station. We can't let that happen. She joined up about two weeks before I did. She's so amped, they didn't even need to juice her up with the buff out to mess with her mind. I once saw her kick a defenseless woman off of a cliff. I mean, who the hell does that? She needs to fall. <laughs> Hard. Yeah, it's the only way. Want anything before you head out? You'll be back after these messages, right? That's uh, what I what I heard people used to say all the time. Friend. So, stars no longer with us, I assume. <laughs> Good. Well, honestly, I'm really glad you're back. Ronnie is desperate for our help. Turns out Edwin's much sicker than everyone thought, and well, I don't think he's fit to run their gang any longer. Much as I uh, appreciate the compliment, uh, I think that would be the wrong move. Ronnie deserves to take Edward's place. Well, I was thinking about that. There was a Sadler family that came to Appalachia looking for treasure a while back. And they uh, brought their Miss Nanny with them. They uh, don't need it anymore. I was thinking. Maybe Ronnie could use it to help with Edwin. Don't say stuff like that, or I'll be forced to restore my bad reputation by kicking a cat or something. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, uh, Edwin doesn't deserve to go out like that. I mean, he was uh, a buddy, and I want to do everything I can to make him. Because they're all dead. I, uh, I killed them. I killed them all for their chems and a couple of caps. It's a memory I wish I could forget. Look, if it doesn't, we just have to move on without them. Maybe we can convince Meg to help us. Good. Well, in the meantime, I'll uh, put out some feelers for information on the rest of the Blood Eagles' leadership. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you're back. Oh, I've got some news you need to hear. No. Not okay at all. It's Frankie. My kid brother. I told that idiot to leave Foundation and hide, but he wouldn't listen. And now the Blood Eagles have him, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. This is all my fault. You're damn right. He's all I've got, okay? And I've watched out for that stupid kid ever since... Ever since our father was killed. Leaving us both alone. Yeah, no, I know. Sounds like a typical boo-hoo sob story, but it's true. <sighs> You're a real friend. You truly are. Okay, Beckett. Breathe here. Come on, let's see. Let's see, he's a smart kid. I mean, he'll, he'll escape on his own, right? I mean... No. God damn it! Oh my god. I just keep imagining the terrible things they're doing to him. I, uh... Oh god, I can't think. I can't think. Phew. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're, you're right. I can't let this get to me. Think. I need to think. Wait, wait! I got it. Okay, I know what we need to do. Okay, the Blood Eagles have another leader. Uh, 
some sicko they call the Eye. And he's the gang's uh, information extractor. And you need to find him. He's elusive, but I know where he does some of his worst shit to people. It's a place they call. Thank you, friend. I knew I could depend on you to have my back. Just do what you need to do and come back safe. I don't want to lose you to those maniacs. I'll head to Foundation. See if I can get a hold of some of Frankie's friends or rummage through his stuff. I'll see what I can turn up. Need anything before you head out? Thank you. I really think I needed to hear that. Now, if, you know, if you weren't here, I, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Frankie was a... <clears throat> is... a good kid. I knew things were going rough for me, so uh, I left him with some settlers. I didn't know he'd come down to Appalachia. When I heard he was living in Foundation, I thought, maybe, you know, maybe he'll be safe with them. I didn't tell anybody about him being there. I, <clears throat> you know, I knew someone would use it against me. I don't know how they found out. Just hurry. There's no telling how long my brother will be able to hold out. I see you didn't find Frankie either. Damn it! Well, Foundation wasn't a complete bust. No one knew where Frankie went, but I did find this holotape. Seems Frankie had a girlfriend. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Oh, poor kid. I hope we can get him out of this mess. If he's still alive. Nope, just the holotape. I think maybe they kidnapped her to get to him, but I mean, that's what they do. That's what they're doing to me right now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything other than I feel like this is all my fault. Look, I. I know. It's in the back of my mind all the time right now, okay? But I refuse to give up until I have proof. And I can promise you one thing. Whether Frankie is dead or, 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 or alive, we are gonna hunt down and kill as many of these goddamn blood eagles as we can. Wait. This is a recording of one of the eyes sessions at the lab. I don't know if I'm ready to listen to that. You know, but I, I suppose I'll have to. While I'm doing that, I need you to help out with a new problem. Words come down that the Blood Eagles are stockpiling poison to use on settlers' food supplies. We can't let that happen. All right, sounds good. After I listen to the recording, I'll keep looking for Sage. I could use his, uh sense of humor right now. Aww, and that's the sweetest thing anybody ever said to me. Good stuff, right here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh boy, uh, heads up, here we go. <clears throat> I heard your sweet voice, Beckett. <laughs> Is it time? Do. Sage, time for what, buddy? Oh, time for the air to breathe into us instead. Time for the rise to sun, for the memories to forget us. Uh, yeah, um, oh, okay, no. Nope, it's not time. All right, look, I need your help, okay? The Blood Eagles have my brother. Did you help me find him, or what? Oh, a brother found, a brother lost, or 
Somewhere in between, perhaps. <laughs> Sage, man, I approve you. <sighs> Things will be okay, right? I heard you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. Look. Oh. <laughs> Sage. Man, I appreciate your help, okay? I, I do, but if you don't give me a straight answer, so help me, I'm gonna pull your heart out through your ribcage. What? Heart? Yes. The heart is at the key. Beckett, the answer is simple. The claw is meant for you, and will be exactly where your heart left it. I don't understand, okay? W where my heart left it? Where my heart left my, my my brother? Okay, that's all you're gonna tell me, isn't it? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Bye, I guess. Thanks. Damn it. Alright. Okay, I'm not sure if any of that was very helpful. Why I put up with that guy, I'll never know. I need to stew on what he said, I suppose. The claw is meant for you. And it is exactly where your heart left it. Hey, I know the claw is the last of the three blood eagle leaders, but is meant for you? I mean, what does that mean? Uh, he's the only blood eagle leader I never got a chance to meet. But I heard he's the worst of the three. See, the blood gathers the recruits, the eye extracts valuable information, and the claw. He just tortures for pleasure. Real stand-up kind of guy. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> that's gonna happen no matter what Sage says. What about the bit with the heart? Where your heart left it, he said. When I, um... Started going overboard with the chems, I guess. When I mixed them up with more... With poisons. With the blood eagles. It's almost as though he's tying the claw and Frankie together. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's it. Okay, Sage was saying that Frankie is being held by the claw. This is perfect. I know exactly what we need to do. I'll grab Ronnie and track down exactly where the claw is keeping Frankie. In the meantime, I need you to hunt down and kill the eye. You think you can handle it? Look, I, uh, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. Sticking by me like this while I bark orders at you? <laughs> Hell, you're more than just a friend to me. You're like family. Thank you. Anything you need before you go? What choice will I have, right? <laughs> I mean, no. No, I won't be okay. You know? But, uh... You know, eventually... I'll be able to carry on. Hell, <laughs> I'm learning how to do all sorts of things better. And I don't want to learn how to do this, but... Preparing for it. Look, please, just be careful. The last thing I want to do is lose someone else that means a lot to me. <laughs> there you are. Two down, one to go, eh? <laughs> we're on a damn roll. While you were dealing with the trash, I managed to get a hold of Ronnie. Now she's going to help us take down the Blood Eagles at their final stronghold. The Watoga Underground. Oh, she's bringing the whole gang. It's, uh, it's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> Can't wait. Honestly, I don't know. But Ronnie said she'll fill us in on everything when we get there. Now, if you're wondering what to bring, I'd bring everything you got. All right, this is the Claw's last stand. And he isn't going down easy. 
We will. Just let me ask one thing before we go. You know, I'm just, uh... I'm just a little worried about what's gonna happen after we rescue Frankie and, and, and take down the Claw. You know, my, my work here will be done, but... I mean, where, do, where does that leave us? That's, uh... <laughs> well, um, that's not exactly what I meant. But, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, who knows what the future holds, hmm? Let's just see if we can get all this crazy shit done first, huh? <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's what I was hoping you'd say. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> In another life, you would have made a hell of a raider yourself. <laughs> Imagine that. All right. I'm gonna head out to Watoga Underground and get things set up with Ronnie. You meet us there. Let's do this. You're here! Now! Is this the one you were talking about? Yep. Yeah, I could see Beckett doing something like that. Luckily for both of you, I'm perfectly real. Here you go. Key to this joint. It didn't come cheap, but since you're here to take down the claw, it was worth every cap. Oh, shucks. Now you gonna make me cry. Let's not get all warm and fuzzy here, Slick. This is a debt being paid back. Nothing more. <laughs> yeah, you better. My ass is hanging out in the breeze on this one. Uh, we... we know, Ronnie. We know. Anyway, here's the plan. Ronnie's gonna head to the main garage entrance and get her gang wrapped up. And in the meantime, we're gonna cut our way through the Eagles and head to the garage control room, get the door open from the inside. Clear enough? Listen, if my, uh, head weren't all out of whack worrying about this last push, I'd be... Well, I'd, I'd be more into what you're laying down. Look, all that matters to me right now is getting my brother out of this hellhole alive. And when we get back, we can talk about us. Cool? One more thing. The Claw is the only one who knows where they're keeping Frankie. So don't go all gun-happy on me until I give the go-ahead. I already told my gang. Any of them shoots the claw, they got to answer to me. All right. Good luck. I'll see you both on the other side. What the hell? Frankie? Is that you? That's right, Beckett. It's me, baby brother. Surprise, surprise! No. No way. This doesn't make any sense. You're the claw? How is that possible? Oh, Beckett. Always two steps behind. Racing to catch up. Think, brother. Think! The claw lives within all of us. Waiting for the moment it awakens and tears its way through our flesh, only to burst forth anew. We're all the claw. Frankie, listen to me. You gotta fight this. It's the chems. They, they, they did something to you. Changed you. This isn't you, man. You can beat this thing! The fight ended long before it began, sweet brother. It died when you left me in Foundation. Left me so you could seek the claw yourself! The draw was too much for you, wasn't it? The allure of power, making you forget the past. Making you forget everything you love. Look, man. I'm sorry. 
Okay? I was wrong. I, I, I shouldn't have stuffed you away like that. We... We should have stuck together. It's... Look, it is all my fault. Come on, Frankie. Snap out of it. Okay, you are my brother. And I need you to come home. Frankie? No. No, 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 no. Frankie's dead. You killed him, Beckett. By abandoning him, you pulled the trigger. But I know why you're really here. To slay the Claw and yourself become the Claw anew. Finish the job, Beckett. Do what you must. I don't know what to do. I, I never expected anything like this. Please, I need your help. I don't know if Frank is in there or not anymore. Maybe he's too far gone to save it, and I should just pull the trigger. Please, help me. I don't know. I'm one of three blood eagles to ever escape their brainwashing and kick the cam habit. And it was painful. I mean, it almost killed me. I don't know if Frankie can survive that. Okay, the claw must, must, must be just a name the Blood Eagles have used for different people over the years. I'm not sure how Frankie took the claw's place before we got here, but I'm sure it has something to do with the chems. No. This has to end here. Today. Oh my god, you're right. I let him get inside my head. I need to focus. Let me talk to him. Frankie? I want you to look at me. Look? Yes. Look. Look beyond this shell made of skin and bone. Look deep and witness the soul of the claw. Focus on my voice, Frankie. It's just me and you against the world, buddy. Just like old times. Come on, man. Focus. I know you've been hurt, Frankie. And I know I wasn't there for you, especially when you needed me the most. And I'm sorry. No, no. It's not that easy, Beckett. The Claw demands a high price for failure. The price is suffering. Listen to me, Frankie. Do you remember when we were kids? You know, we were playing near that bombed-out factory in Maryland. And those, those rabid dogs just jumped out of nowhere and just, just surprised us. And we ran and we ran. And I fell into that ditch and twisted my leg like a dumbass, right? Hmm? I told you to run. But what did you say to me, man? Hmm? Try and remember. No, Beckett. I... Those moments died when Frankie died. Only a fool dwells in the past. The Blood Eagles are our future. No, no, no. No, there's no claw. And there's no blood eagles. There's just me and you right now. All right, so shut up and listen. After the dogs were gone and you reached into the ditch to help me out, what did you say? Tell me, goddammit, Frankie, tell me! No, I... I... I said... I... We were brothers and we'd never walk away from... from each other. No matter how bad... No matter how... No matter how bad things became. Yeah, that's exactly right. You fought off those dogs with nothing but a goddamn broken baseball bat. And it almost killed you, man. But you... You saved me. I mean, you were so caught up from the fight, I... I thought I was gonna lose you, Frankie. Uh, I remember... 
You stole those meds from me to fight off the rabies. You kept watch over me for weeks. I... I why can't I see it clearly? The hell happened to me, Beckett? God, this hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, God, I know it hurts, man. I know it does. But whatever it takes, we'll get through this together. All right, we are family, and I love you, Frankie. I always have, I always will. I love you too, Beckett. And. And I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. I can't believe I was able to talk him through that. Oh, I'm proud of me for not murdering my brother. Hmm? <laughs> I suppose that's how. Huh? I praise for a former raider. You know, if anything, I should be disappointed with myself. You know, this is all my fault to begin with. I started him down this path by not being there for him. And to make matters worse, I was such a chicken shit, I forced you to make this decision. Not my finest hour. And I have yours. Forever. I mean that. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna bring Frankie to a friend I know who can help him fully recover from his addiction. Head back to your camp, all right? And I'll meet you there soon. And before you say anything, yes, I promise to show up. Okay? Don't worry. Have a safe trip back. Hey, there you are. I had some news for you about Frankie. Talk to Ronnie, and she said she's gonna handle everything. Like, uh, you know, making sure all that buff-out crap is out of his system. Poor kid. Uh, it's gonna be a slow road to recovery. Well, good thing is, she hadn't been kidnapped by the Blood Eagles like I'd suspected. She had actually gone into hiding. I sent her word that Frankie's okay. I can't exactly let her visit Ronnie's camp. It isn't safe for someone not in the gang, but once he's back on his feet, I'm sure he'll return to visit her at Foundation. Yeah, yeah. And I had it all wrong at the beginning. See, it turns out, Frankie had been gone longer from Foundation than I was led to believe. And he actually joined the Eagles voluntarily. Now, of course, he did it to follow in my footsteps, so... I guess that one's on me. And as he started taking the buff out overdoses and buying into the Eagle's bullshit, it blew his mind. And he started climbing the ranks. After the previous claw got wiped out and it was clear Frankie was one of the craziest in the gang at the time, well, he filled the spot. Yeah, unfortunately, it won't be. Uh, there's still plenty of those maniacs around. And the important thing that we took out their leadership. And since that was what I set out to do, I'm officially out of a job. That's right. After all the crap I've been through, there's no way I'm going back to that life. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll still be more than happy to accept the caps that come with brokering any jobs for you, if you're interested. Great. I'll see what my contacts come up with. Hey, um, before you take off, I uh, just, just have one last thing to say. Uh, you know, since I've been in Appalachia, I've uh, run into all sorts of people. And, uh, you know, most of them wouldn't bother to help you if you were <laughs> dying at their feet. But you, and what you've done for me and my family, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you. Uh, look, um, if I can be honest, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping you weren't going to bring that up. Look, you see, uh, 
I, I, I've never had anyone that wanted to get this close to me. You know, it, it feels strange, and it, uh, <laughs> it scares the hell out of me. Man, I, 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 I couldn't even keep my family intact. How was a relationship with you ever gonna work? I mean, you know, what, what, what if I mess things up? I know, I know, I, I sound crazy, but for once, you know, it's not the cams talking. Does, does this change your mind about things? About us? Hey, crazy's what you want. There's plenty of that to go around. <laughs> so, I'm uh, not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I've actually never been in a relationship with someone before. Wow, great start, right? <laughs> you know, maybe uh, I'll just uh, shut up and let this work out naturally. Uh, yeah, that's probably best. I'm always glad when you stop by. So, hey, I've got news. Listen, I uh, have a rescue that could use your special touch. You willing to lend them a hand? Understood. If you change your mind, let me know. Need anything else before you head out? Yeah, sure. Something wrong? Well, I uh, mean, I, I mean, I've, I've never really had someone who, you know, cared about me before. So this, this is all new to me. Um, uh, start there. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, you're happy. Wait, are, are, you, are you trying to tell me something? No, never. Uh, you know, the way I live my life. I mean, even before I was chem blasted out of my mind, I mean, there was never any time. Anytime someone tried to get close, I, uh, I assumed they were trying to steal something from me, so, so I pushed them away. And given the way things are now, thinking that way was pretty stupid, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. 